<laughs> Welcome back to Geek Show Arcade. Beep. Yeah, yeah. Boop. Beep boop. Beep boop. Listen to these good microphones. Mm -hmm. Not like last week. <laughs> That's right. Okay, um, let's introduce our panelists. This is the Geek Show Arcade, where we talk about video games and video game-related things. Let's kick it off with Lando. Hey, it's Lando! I am bringing all the energy tonight. I'm here. I'm doing the things. I have all the stories, and things are going to be great. Nice. Hmm. We got Owen. Hey, I am here. I used all my energy on the in-between, so... <laughs> You'll find more. You should, you have, I saved yeah. it. Vast reserves. Oh, good. <laughs> And we got uh, Lang coming in. The one, the Gibbler. For those of you who know the reference, I'm back, <laughs> hopping in Gibbler. awkwardly. Yep. Um, come find me on Instagram at Gumpla underscore Skyfire, where you won't find our illustrious host, Tony. Hey, hey, check me out on Twitter, or X, if you want to call it that, at Quad T Tony, or on other Geek Show podcasts, wherever fine podcasts are freely given out. That's everywhere basically mm. um let us go forward with the episode we have a lot of interesting things to talk about here this week but before we get into that we have an email or two Ooh. Ooh. that's right and since jaren isn't here i have the power of reading the email I this feel time. about this he's a we great got, orator we got a uh an email here from alex thompson says hey to my favorite podcasters oh this is off to a good start already good start. And he's that's why jaren's not here ah yeah, yeah yeah i just wanted to drop a note you probably already know it's been called out on the show you can't game on a mac unfortunately <laughs> my only gaming right rig right now is an m1 you can I game on a month, mac i do all the time you can't game well on a Mac. There's a, oh, there's okay. a qualifier that's, in there. That's fair. I learned last month that you can install a porting kit on Mac. Yep. Install Steam through it and download and play a good chunk of Windows games. This is true. The only game I couldn't get to work was Persona 5, and I think that's a DirectX issue. Obviously, it's not natively configured, so performance is not one-to-one, -one, but it's an enabler that may that all not all may know about. Thanks for the great shows. Keep it up, guys. Yep, he is absolutely right. Alex Got no is excuses now. That. You can. No, it it doesn't up. work with everything, and the performance is sometimes not great, but it is at least something, and it opens the doors quite a bit for, especially for the less demanding titles, and yeah, things like that. So yeah, get out there and do that if you have a, a Mac and you want to do a little bit of gaming. You can actually just load that. Is up it and... has to be Mac OS? What else would they be running on a Mac? No, no, like that's what I'm saying. Can it be? Can you do it on <laughs> iPad? Can you do it? Elsewhere? Oh yeah, it's got to be Mac OS, right? Yeah, right. yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Sorry, I was confused. I was it hurt like, a little, but it's okay. What are you, what, okay. What are you running <laughs> Linux on that Mac? You're running Windows Maybe. on that Mac? I have not done. Anymore. I have done that. I've done all three of those. Tony. Not, not with the new ARM chips. You're that's not doing true. That. I'm not. Dang it. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Thank you for writing in there, Alex. And then we got one from Cody Labokane. Hello, my friends. Cody here again. So I just got tickets to go see. Distant Worlds in LA in January. If you don't know, Distant Worlds is an orchestra that plays music from the Final mm. Fantasy games. Ooh, nice. oh, that's neat. cool. My question is, what game would you pick to hear a live orchestra perform a uh, performance of its music? <laughs> As always, love the podcast and love you all. Thanks. Hmm, this is a good question. I love some good video game music. Um, like mine's Final Fantasy. Like. Like, yeah, I mean, like, Final Fantasy has some of the best music in games. Particularly game, Final sure. Fantasy 3. I would lo like, that was my, I, I actually have that soundtrack. Like, I got that off I, the internets. I would say, um, and this is, well, I don't know. Maybe for nostalgia's sake, I would love Zelda music. Mm, that's a great that's a good one, one too. Orchestrated Zelda music. Yeah, um, agree. You know, Link to the Past would be oof. You know, yeah. however, though, I think my ultimate choice would probably be music from the two new God of War games scored by Barry McCreary mm. because the music in those games is absolutely phenomenal. There's a reason he won, um, what is it, music, video game music of the year or composer yeah. or whatever, both for both of those games, each the years yeah. they came out. Um, yeah, the, the music from... God of War games are just top tier. 
I like that that became a big focus in games. Um, the music wasn't something that won a lot of awards before. It was something that was in the, you know, in the background, kind of whatever, the background, yeah. you know, like they still mentioned them, but like there wasn't a bunch of hype. That's why when I was like, oh, Final Fantasy three, Zelda Link to the Past, the old ones, I would love to see the old ones that did like performed by an orchestra that weren't recorded and scored by somebody in a studio, you know, orchestra doing a, a soundtrack before they had the ability to put that big of a score onto a cartridge or something. You know, yeah. I love I love hearing the old stuff come into a modern age with like a full orchestra. It's really, oh, yeah, it's, that's really fun. It's very cool. Lang, what would you choose? SSX Tricky. Okay. Yeah, it's got some great, great, <laughs> yeah. great music. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> that's all. Um, you need a you need a different kind of orchestra for those. <laughs> yeah. <musics. laughs> no, I'd probably go Halo. Just. Oh, good, yeah. Just great. Also a great one. Yeah. Great choice. Yeah. You need the orchestra and or choir behind it too yep. for the intro yeah. music. Yep. Fantastic 100%. choice. I'm with Tony. I'm 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 in, I'm in on the Zelda. The Zelda, Zelda yeah. would be great. Another really good one would be the uh if you've ever played um 200 hours of The Witcher 3 like I have, <laughs> the music in Witcher 3 is also very very yeah. good. So. Yeah. Nice. Good question there. All right, uh, let's talk about lots of stuff. Um, quick one, get it out of the way first. As of this recording, tomorrow, the first Call of Duty game drops for Game Pass. That's they crazy. are putting Modern Warfare 3 on Game Pass, available on Game Pass on July 24th. It's probably to celebrate pioneer day in utah i think they know that we have a big <laughs> holiday here in utah and they're like you know what let's do those something guys, special for those guys those we'll guys put modern warfare that one, 3 out that one state <laughs> <laughs> but yeah modern warfare 3 is the one that came out last year so it is it is currently the most recent call of duty game and then this year we're looking at uh black ops I don't know, six, twelve. Uh, is whatever, this the one? On. Is this the one that Sony was freaking out about? Uh, no, that would have been the that's next Call one. of Duty. Uh, yeah, it's Call oh, of Duty. That, okay, so but oh, I mean, so the next one they want to make sure that it gets released yeah. on all platforms. But yep, exactly. Yeah, next the next ones, which mm. yeah, they did. You know, they which, are. Yeah. So that's cool to note right there. Um, let's previously talk... you could only play it where on Sony. No, you could play it on anything. Oh, but but it um, wasn't on Game Pass. All right, yeah, it wasn't on it. Game yeah. Pass. You yeah. had to buy okay. it separately on whatever system you wanted to right. play it on. Besides Switch, it's not on Switch. Uh, let's talk about uh, speaking of Halo earlier and Halo music. I I, Ooh, Halo. I can't. This Come is, on, this is bad news, but it's not like terrible news in my opinion. Paramount Plus has canceled the Halo. They did TV show. They oh, they sad. canceled it. They they <laughs> they, 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 they set it free. <laughs> Here's what the thing is. They've set it free, and if it comes back, that means that it was meant to be. So They are shopping par- it around. They are shop. Par- yeah, the Xbox is looking for another home. They have yep. said, we are looking for another studio to pick this up. I really enjoyed going off. It's one of the first times I have really enjoyed um, a TV show going off canon. Yeah. Um, that from from the show, as, we've, as I've famously been uh, called a neckbeard from Jaren for Wheel the of Wheel of Time. Time. Uh, it's that's that's trash. Anybody <laughs> argues doesn't know the story. So they are wildly different. I just started book five. Yeah. This so now you get to see what what garbage is compared to what it actually is. I'm not saying the <laughs> Wheel of Time books are perfect. I'm just saying what they did to them in the show is garbage. Anyway, um, fight me. So, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So Paramount. I I was I was a fan. I really liked Pablo. What's his name? Uh, um something i really liked his schreiber. yeah Pablo schreiber i really liked his performance of yeah. of master chief i felt like the story and the chemistry that was going on between him and cortana was very true to the the heart of of their relationship in the game but then they kind of just took off from there and did their own thing and i was actually okay with it because i've read the halo books which also stray a little sometimes and well those those are usually made to kind of flesh out the yeah. story and whatnot so there's a lot of new stuff in the halo books that you just don't even know about yeah if you've only played the games and then i broke fully from needing it to be canon when microsoft when when 343 decided to just trash 
Hunt the Truth. <laughs> oh man, Hunt so the Truth sad. was a be- Hunt the Truth was a better story than three four three could have ever come up with, and all they had to do was basically adapt it to the sh- to the game. Instead, they came out with Halo Five, which was one big long cinematic. <laughs> we want to show off the new armor. Took away couch co op, like all the things. Like it was anyway. We'll um, call it a misstep. We'll just say it wasn't my favorite version of uh, version <laughs> of, of the Halo. game. So anyway, it's good. You could still watch it some yeah, places. Yeah, still on Paramount right? Plus. Yeah, I, I gotta I gotta be honest. Come clean. I didn't finish the second season yet. No, you didn't. Oh, I know. I'm, I think I'm about halfway through, but I got distracted with other Why stuff. Why not? I didn't, I didn't stop watching it because I didn't like it. I just it got went week to week. It was shows. week to week, right? It's and hard so, sometimes. And so. But, I just don't what? follow. It just it just goes to show that the you know no. the all at once Incorrect. releases is the better way to do it. Incorrect. Oh, that yep. is just I'm another way. Right. Do it. Don't start. it depends on the show. It should be looked at show no. by show. No, no, no. Is what it, it should be, be every show should be dropped all at once, and you as the viewer can choose how you want to watch it. Damn it! Don't you tell are, me how to do it. You are so full of crap. I don't know. Hey, how many, world. My how way many is the best way. I hate, season. hate, hate waiting. Hate waiting. But I also like not getting everything. If you have to I wait. also like watching it at my at, at the at a pace it's, that's controlled because if uh-huh. you dump it on if you dump it all, people watch it all in one day and then it's all over social media and it's not you get spoiled. To, no, 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 absolutely. Headlines, headlines, bro. No, no, no. headlines, I bro. Disagree with you more. You could. I, no, it is not no. that hard to avoid they're, spoilers. You can no, do they're the headers. Correct. As I'm they scrolling put them through, in the headlines, now. in the headlines, it's, nah, you can't. Oh, you yeah. so, I have no are, problems at all. He's probably so, he's probably so somebody nonsense. that does that. Hey, hey you. you put them in the headlines, don't you? You spoil don't it at all, did, did you? <laughs> <laughs> if you can't control yourself, that's a you problem, not it's a me problem. A, it's not. That's the thing is, I just. If some, you need time I, to digest the episode, take time you need to digest it. It's not about that. It's just about controlling. <laughs> it's about ex- controlling the the spoilers and the digestion for people that don't have twelve hours all at once, it like should, some unregulated people do. It should be <laughs> taken on a show by show basis. Nope. But at the same my, time, but at the same my, time, I will sit down and wrong. consume a show, and I will watch forty eight hours straight of TV if you let me. Like I'm, I am that's, both again, of those. You problem. I am, I am Impulse both of these. Issues. Yeah, I am both of these people. Like I am <laughs> the one that doesn't like it and thoroughly enjoys watching it when and how I want. All so. right. Well, there you go. Halo. Uh, we'll keep you updated if anything yeah. changes. If they're able to find a new, uh, new home for. Gosh, it I hope not. they do. But, it's a good show. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd like to watch more of it, but I'm not as heartbroken as if I were to hear, like, the Fallout TV show was canceled. Yeah, oh, Fallout was right? so good. Jared, yeah. you got to watch Fallout, dude. Oh, it's freaking amazing. He's Boy. probably already been spoiled from social media. Have you so. seen it, Lang? Have you not watched it? <laughs> Bruh. It's so good. It's amazing. It's, it's so it's, good. It's really, really good. You know how hard it is? I'm outnumbered with my kids. It's really yeah. hard. Yeah. You either have, you got to sacrifice that nighttime. It's this night nighttime sacrifice. It's like okay, do I pull which also on my means your morning and put on noise canceling headphones, and then it's like oh, <laughs> then I'm not hearing them like doing a nosedive off the jungle gym outside. So it's uh, it's like you just, no, you do it. You do it after they're in bed. after they're sacrifice asleep. Sacrifice your sleep <laughs> and and your nighttime. Well, it's I worth do podcasts it. with you guys. Come on, it's only eight forty five your time. <laughs> Come on, uh, yeah, you got a whole extra hour ahead of us, <laughs> right? Wait, we're in the future. You're, mm-hmm. you're behind Look, the times? Basically. I am. I am. Is that not insane? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. But it, also sacrifices your, it also sacrifices your morning. Just I'm going to tell you that for free. That's true. Yep. It's not just your nighttime you're it's giving up. free. Because yep. your kids will get up on time regardless of how late you stayed kids. up. Yeah. No, I do Why can't other they sleep things in? at night. We'll talk about that. I'll relate it to the, another story. i got to get oh, that light that Jerry has. Dirty the things? Red what light, are you talking about here, Lang? Ooh. Can I nope. take the wheel? Parallel play? Is speaking that what we're of, doing? Speaking, mm. of, speaking of dirty things, uh, Xbox has shown off some butt controllers. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's they, the one. They have, Come on. Uh, they have released these controllers. They, I they're not love for this. sale. They're for winning. You have to again. This the is their this is win. their stick, right? Oh. Yep. But they are controllers that look like um, Wolverines and Deadpool's butts. Now it turns out they are magnetically attached, so you can't okay. pull the butts off. I was gonna say, how do you controller if you want? Yeah. But why would you ever? Well, this you is know? gonna be display, right? This is bragging yeah, rights. Yeah, exactly. You know, I want to follow one of these my... gimmicks and see how much they're selling for 
at, in the secondary market? Like, what are they being uh, traded for as a collector's item? Or do you think no, the people that get them people, actually people, just hold? No, yeah. because there's no way of knowing. Like, a lot of people just enter the contest and they don't want whatever it is. They just want to win because they know it's got value. Yeah, so I, I have to believe that some of these are being traded to actual collectors, yeah. and I would love to know Maybe. what they pay. No, I already know what's going to happen because. What would you pay, can... Lang? What would you pay, Lang, for one of the for, for a these? For a set of, like this See, my, money's no object. My biggest money problem. is an object. Let's say you have a million dollars. How much are you willing to spend on if, on butt if, controllers? If, if, I'd pay a, no I, if it's just a piece of plastic and if it's well made and fits perfectly, I'd pay. I'd pay like thirty bucks. You're never going to use them. They're a collector's $30. item. They're going on a shelf. I got mitts. I totally. I. That's the, the, use that. Plus, that you're squeezing, the, uh, you're you're squeezing Ryan's and thing. Hugh's butt, right? Okay, wait, I mean, wait, 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 wait. There's two. There's here's the thing. If it's hard plastic or if it's squishy, I was gonna say oh, that's the, that's the downside. They're hard <gasps> plastic. They're not squishy. Ah, I well. would say I only want these if they're squishy. Yeah, right. Squishy. right? If that's now, a little little foam back there. Oh yeah. Okay, so anyway. two things real quick. I'm gonna take this over because one, I know some 3D print guy is going to get this oh, yeah. and make the They'll stl and yep. totally pass it along because they did it with the popcorn bucket and there's a lot of different <laughs> variations of that now what, what pocket board what? Po popcorn bucket are we talking about i don't understand the, the green one. One. one well no yeah it looks like a mouth or the right? dune yep. one yeah <laughs> no <laughs> but i recently when we were looking at this and it popped up on my instagram feed Somebody's already made a replica, whether it's real or not, it's on Reddit, but someone will make it. And this is going back to my whole thing about I want to paint something. They've already made a Cortana edition as well. Cortana butt. Okay, uh, I'm in yep. for that. Wait, all the it, way. Is it, is it a butt? Is it a butt? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's okay. a butt. It's a Cortana. It's not, it's not it's the a, bosoms. That, it's the skin oh, no. suit. I feel like that's a missed you know, opportunity. I feel like that's a missed Man, opportunity. They could just do, too. they Man. could have a little, they could have it on both sides. <laughs> The that's the that's the case that's the case you just well, snap the it's like be? it's what like a clam it, be, Owen? <laughs> it would just be it would just be a clamshell case i wasn't going that far but now i am <laughs> but i'm just saying it would be a, it would be a clamshell case that you just snap over your controller oh. it'd be front and back anyway i digress into areas of <laughs> indeed indeed well, there you go. If you want to enter that contest, I think there's a link in the uh, article here, the CNET article that, that I have on it. Um, but anyway, moving along, let's talk about some competition. You know, Woo. sports. I'm using some yeah. quotes here. I like sports. the sports ball. Not not sports ball. Oh. Sports games. This one's mine, yeah. So. Yep, yep, yep. So this last weekend, I've talked about it before, Lang loves fighting games. It was the Super Bowl of fighting games at Evo 2024 this last weekend, and it did not disappoint. It got pretty wild, right? It got. It was really cool because attendance, I mean, there's different variations of numbers, but it was well around 50,000 wow. in attendance. Okay. And it's really kind of cool because I didn't realize that they had, and this one, and, and you'll see it in the show notes, 10,262 of those were the participants. Wow. That actually. So wow. Do they all have to play the same game or is it all different oh, variations no, 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 no. of different fighting game. games? There's a lot of games. So oh, there's, okay. there's eight main games Tekken 8, Street Fighter 6, a lot of the newer ones, and some vintage, for example, Street Fighter 3, which is Ooh, kind of I'd a big, big. One. Yeah. So it's a staple that's been, I can't believe it still. It's 25 years old. Yeah. And that is the fighting game. Interesting thing. I'll actually, nope. I mean, see, I'm jumping ahead. So, <laughs> it's tempting, I know. All right, right. So, this year they bumped up the pri or the purses that per game, it's 30 grand split among the top eight of each. Um, oh, okay. So, if you get the top game. eight, so you get to the top eight, you're getting what? Something close to. 3,000. I don't know. I It didn't actually go into details. Like, if first place gets the most and not, I would I assume see. so. Oh, okay. It's not an equal but, split, but you get nah, some. I assume. It didn't say. And that probably goes into sponsors and stuff like that. Um, among the eight main games. Um, Man. Now, some of the things that were kind of interesting, and I've also linked the results of who, out of the 24 First place, second place, third place of the eight games. Do the math. Um, only six of those were USA. Seven were Japan, and all the rest were everywhere from 
Pakistan, um, United Emirates, oh, United wow. Kingdom, Brazil. Like this is huge and legit. It's this pretty is like awesome. worldwide. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And it's ten thousand participants. That's a lot too. Alone. Yeah. So a couple of things that I pulled away. Um, there's a really fun highlight. There was a Street Fighter three um, uh, participant, uh, Hayo. He played for those of you who know the Hugo character, which is this bim big bumbling just wrestler almost like a zangief but he looks even more goofy <laughs> and he went all the way to the finals like he was in the loser semifinals and he was an absolute character on the stage doing splits acting and just winning the crowd over and over again and he did an amazing comeback that is people are saying rivals one of the biggest it's called moment 37 for those of you who didn't know, you know, from back in the early 2000s. Um, it's a big comeback thing because in Street Fighter 3, there's a. I'm going down in the weeds now. Yeah, there's you're a thing out in there. Street Fighter. Yeah. <laughs> in Street Fighter, there's a thing. If you press forward at the like exact frame when they're punching, you parry and it like dodges it right there for you. So this guy, he not only parried exactly. Like, it's unbelievable when he does it. He parries, comes back, jumps out of the way, and makes this giant comeback. And the crowd went absolutely nuts. It's really something to watch. Please go look up Hayo Evo 2024. It's a lot of fun to watch him. Um, I have links that is for an all amazing, of his progress. That is an amazing clip. Uh, I just oh, you saw the, the little one? Yeah. Yeah, I just saw the short little clip. That's it, I mean... It's crazy. He parries in the air and times it perfectly. Like, it's very cool. So that's one thing about EVO 2024. Um, personally, I am a Dragon Ball Z fighter fan. Hmm. Um, there is a... I'm going to get crap for this if anyone listens to this. There's a a really... He's now pretty famous. Um, Hikari. Billy Mitchell. Oh. <laughs> Hikari <laughs> is a player who last year he was the champion. I've seen him in many competition videos where he is an angry, angry loser. Like ah. he'll do angry gamer tosses and stuff. Like all of a sudden, if he's losing on a really bad comeback or something, all of a sudden you'll see the oh, con <laughs> player has mm. disconnected. It's like, oh, oh, oh do that no. a little bit. But last year he won the entire thing which good for him but he all went all the way to the finals again this year and he lost so it was kind of like okay bum, like bum, you got it bum, once bum. but now you got humbled again Bam. um so that was my my game um two things one if you want to kind of see some really great clips there is a thing where very very big time influencers like justin wong who's for those of you that don't know he's kind of like a michael jordan one of the greatest in fighting games from way back in the day he talks about the most epic ones that he's seen so if you're ever curious and want to see some really cool events and what happens at these there's a link for homework to go watch that and then last but not least i want homework i'm putting on my tin hat so oh, this hat? year last year oh, get your tin there. hats on people mine's like a cowboy hat Oh, okay. um, that's the upgraded model. Yeah, because this one, this was one of the first years. I can't remember if they did last year or not. Smash Brothers was not in Evo, uh -oh. which is very surprising because it's it's a staple. And most of the time, they usually have melee. They don't even have the new versions. They usually do that's melee the or something version, like right? Uh huh. Okay. So they have that for many many years. It's been around, and so my tin hat is they're pulling it out in order to build some steam and some anticipation for something that's coming in the next year or two mm. switch to i think they're going to bring it and bring something in variations with that and maybe if the mm. switch Two plays it maybe just a pinch differently if there's different dlc for that game my tin has things they're pulling it from that not just because it's been overplayed but they want to build some anticipation in coming letting it rest game. you know okay. Okay. it's like a good wine you gotta gotta let it rest let it decant yep. You can't it so yeah evo go check it out it's it's fun um yeah this year was well, it was a lot of fun there were some pretty cool events and nice upsets too 
Cool, cool. All right. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, so, some some sucky news here. Humble Bundle is closing their publishing arm. So they've, they've published like over 50 games. A lot of uh, indie games is what they specialized in. Oh, dang. And several really good ones. Um, they, but they announced today that they're, uh, they're laying off the entire staff, which is not a huge number of people, but it still sucks. It's like 36 people that was on the publishing staff. So they are, um, they were let go and, uh, humble bundle said after it dropped, they said, Ooh, uh, it's a restructuring. We're not getting rid of the publishing, but it's a restructure. And it's like, okay. If we had, if we had other positions, we offered it to them. But... but if it's a restructuring, why did you fire the entire team? That's not a restructuring. That's a culling. <laughs> yeah. You know? that's, a, that's a riff. So Reduction I, in force. Exactly. So we'll see what happens from that. They did say for sure that the games that they're already committed to publishing, they are going to continue with those. So... Those uh, devs aren't getting totally hosed, but uh, yeah, they're they're sort of hosed. They're getting getting rid of their publishing arm. Sad, um, which is more more bad news in the uh, in the video game industry with layoffs. That's that's unfortunately what Can that we equates just get to. One of those new dar- news articles that are just like, "Hey, we hired two hundred and started a new studio." Please, yeah, we need some more so of those. Often. Um, let's see. Also, we got, uh, oh, this is a PSA. This, you're, you're coming up on your last chance to buy games from the old Xbox Marketplace. This would be the uh, Xbox 360 Marketplace. Um, they are officially closing the doors on that thing the 29th of July. What uh, what game would you tell somebody you can't, that you'd go get that game before you can't? Oh, I don't know. There's a ton of good games on uh, 360. I mean, and the thing about it is, is most of the the only games that you won't be able to get again are the arcade games, Xbox Arcade, because all the other games you can get the disc version of. But you could what, buy. What it, this yeah. is going to do is it's going to you know, raise the price. People are going to raise the prices on the used disc games. Right. Yeah. But uh, I never really got into the arcade Xbox Arcade games very much, so I wouldn't have any good recommendations hmm. there. Me but I would say if you don't want to mess with discs, go check out the uh, the marketplace before the 29th. Uh, a lot of games are on deep discount because Microsoft at least is throwing us a bone there since they're getting rid of it. Um, pick up something, you know, I don't know, pick up uh, Dante's Inferno or uh, Black. What was that? What know? was that? Um, what was that Xbox game? Or maybe it wasn't Xbox, but it was like a James Bond game, but that was it was like under dark something dark or perfect, perfect, perfect dark. dark. Perfect dark. Was that on three sixty or was that on PlayStation? Uh that was no, it but came I over think to the Xbox. GameCube, yeah, I it think. Came, it came up to no. Xbox One, well, so you oh, can still okay. buy that yeah. one. Oh, okay, cool. That's just part of the rare replay yeah. um stuff. So yeah. I like that one. I played that a lot on Xbox yeah, three sixty. It's, it's a good one. Uh and there is a link in this article that I uh have here in the show notes it will take you to a list of the all the games that are currently discounted and what their discount is so and the list is uh quite long it is wow but uh yeah check that out oh grab bullet storm for 90 percent off that's a mm-hmm. good game uh batman arkham city for 75 percent off on the 360 mm-hmm. prototype that one's kind of cool that's a 70 percent off yeah so there's there's a lot of games there if you want to grab them before they're gone for good on the digital storefront do so um let's see moving along to uh baldur's gate 3 news because we got to have some of that Mm -hmm. always buddy um the baldur's gate 3 dev team larian said a while back that they were done with big updates they changed their mind. They got some more big updates coming. Um, update number seven is going to be a big one, or big update seven, whatever they're calling it. Uh, and that was supposed to be their last, but they said they're going to do some more after that with things that include cross-play, which is way cool. So you'll be able to play cross-system on uh, co-op 
for Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, you, that's cool. You got an Xbox and your friend's got a PlayStation, you'll be able to play together. I, I, I appreciate that. Again, there's no reason why companies can't do that anymore. Yep. Right? It's yep. all... It's all just gatekeeping at this point. Mm -hmm. So they're putting that. That'll be after patch seven. This isn't coming in patch seven. This is some of the other stuff they're they're promising uh, later on with some more larger updates. Like I said, so that's pretty cool. They're seeing they're still supporting that with uh, some big some big good stuff. Um, and then uh, let's talk about Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Uh, what's the? They're getting sued. By what's Japan. The, what's the name of the game this time? It's Assassin's uh, Creed. It's Shadow, Shadows? Shadows. Yeah. Shadows. So finally, uh, Assassin's Creed. They've been they've been wanting to they've been wanting to have one actually come, happen in feudal Japan for a long time. Uh, I think we talked about this before. They're actually following the history of a real like they're following a real historical person. Yep. Um, from the country. And um, the one of the main, I want to say it's it's a weird, uh, it's a weird government entity that um, that they have over there. Anyways, um, he he, there's a guy that's over there, historical or their cultural something culture um, department over in Japan, and he's saying that they are not they're not being sensitive enough about. Oh, it's called uh, the Jap. They, so he's he's gonna bring it before the Japanese Diet. That's which is the country's legislative body. Huh? So I, it's called the Japanese Diet. That's what Weird. it like. What? Like we're gonna eat you. I don't know, but that's their legislative body is the Diet. Unless that's a huge typo in this article, but uh, <laughs> I like it for what it is. So. Um, but yeah, so he's, he's, uh, he's got a position going on and, or there was a petition date with, there was a petition going on to get this game. They finally did it. And now everybody loves it and is excited except for Japan. Um, and so he is taking to Twitter to try and say, Hey, this is cultural appropriation. Uh, kind of where this is at is that, uh, Yasuki, uh, is an, is a, uh, black African American, uh, a black African man who served Oda. Nobunaga hmm. um, back in the feudal times back in the feudal times and he's a real historical person so um, they're they're claiming that they're not being sensitive enough to the Japanese culture and history and um, inadvertently like created inaccurate representations of Japanese culture sounds like they're mad because this care this this person doesn't have a whole lot of like rock solid historical facts around him yeah and so well, he, they probably think that they're going to make stuff up and, and, uh, you know, culture over in Japan, the culture, I mean, the feudal times that was like about Ronin and honor, right. And samurai yeah. and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. I mean, it's not so much about, and it was bloody now, t now times brutal. Yeah. Go watch Shogun on who. Yeah. If you right. Get that's, a taste that's, of that, that, that I am, crazy. that is on my list. And there's that guy that always is in every samurai movie ever. And if you know who I'm talking about, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. He's in every samurai he's movie. So good at it. Ever. Anyway, so. I, I yeah, I don't fault him at all. I love it. So anyway, uh, a lot we'll of people excited, but not not the people, or at least not one person. I guess it could just be this one guy. That's well, he's got eighty thousand. Uh, Did signatures. he do that? Did he do that, or was that the eighty thousand signatures of people that wanted it? No, no, it's a petition which now has reached oh, eighty thousand signatures. Icy. Ah. Uh, has accused Ubisoft of having a yeah. quote, lack of respect for Japanese history and culture, <laughs> and, and has they, demanded they're the game many, be canceled yeah. <laughs> or, or at least, least delayed <laughs> until they've done quote sincere research. Now, what does that even mean? What does that mean? That, I, you know? I yeah. What where is the sincero meter? What's the quant quantitative? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, what's the what's the I metric? Quantify sincerity. You, yeah. All right. We're well, from America. We don't even know what that means. Nah. Mm -hmm. Sincerity? Pshaw. There's no money in that. <laughs> anyway. That's what I saying. All right. And then uh, last but not least, the... Oh, wait. No. Maybe that was it. Did I... I did I that one. Be, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. All right. Well, last and uh, definitely not least, though, is our Patreon backers. Patreon.com slash 
Help Desk Arcade, if you donate six shekels a month or more, you get a shout-out on the air, along with all the other neat stuff that uh, Patreon members get, like the in-between and early access to the Geek Show Arcade episode, uh, access to the super secret Patreon for uh, Patreon channel for Patreon members and your own super secret RSS feed. Mm -hmm. That's right. We get to add it right into your own uh, your own podcast app of choice with that. Mm -hmm. So we'll do a we'll do the uh, the six dollar six dollar tier and higher shout outs for these awesome folks. These guys are. The higher tier, they they don't even more than six dollars a month. These guys, Aaron Faulkner, Connor Keesaw, and Wiffle Ball Tony. Extra thank you to you guys. Uh, let's see, and then at the six dollar two, we've got Archie the Archivist, B the Eight Year Old, Jason Eatman, Magnets. How do they work? I don't Ms. know. Jonas, uh, Adam, Adam Hecht, Eric Cruz, Eric Steinman, Harry Patch, Jeremy Kesslow, Matt Nelson. Michael Shane, No Name, No Color, Ryan M, Stuart Lloyd, The In-Between Reading minus Rating Minus 5. I think is... it's a dash 5, actually. Oh, it might be. Yeah. yeah, it's a dash. The problem with society is there are no mole hills that can't be mountain climbed over. Tony the Home Theater Geek and Wesley. Thank you so hey, much. Wesley. That's our newest Patreon. Wesley, welcome. Welcome. I love Wesley. All right, that is it. We will see you to, uh, not next week, probably. I think we're having a bye week because nobody is free to record. A whole bunch of family stuff going on for everybody. Uh, but if something shows up, then huzzah, but don't plan on it. Sorry. Just being frank with you. Just being honest, you know. That's probably what's going to happen. Transparency is the best thing, Tony. You no, know, that's what I'm talking about right there. So until then, later on, Owen, take us out. Hey, we hope you care. Oh, I forgot to do the music again. Oh, fail. Oh, gosh, dang it. Owen, we got we got to try it again, bud. This is Don't screw this it up, Owen. Two, two in a row that I've messed up. So oh. you get another chance. Here we go. Owen, take us out. We what? We don't? Hey, we hope you care. Nailed, Nailed it. it.